Hello everyone. Today I'm going to unbox and assemble the Multigym Pro uh, by Perfect. It is a uh, pull-up bar that hooks up to your door frame and uh, you know I'm going to follow the instructions as uh, you know laid out by Perfect in this box. So let's start by unboxing it, getting all the components out. All right. Well, we have at least three bars here on the top row. And basically I'm unboxing it just to, you know, make sure that you get all the same parts as I got to assemble this unit. So there's one, there's another curved uh, pipe and it feels really, it doesn't feel light. It, these are pretty heavy uh, and thick pipes on this unit. So there's three pipes there, uh, a bunch of screws and I'll go through the uh, actual parts that are, that should be in this kit. And I will be using the tools that they supply to make the, to put this together as uh, that is what it's showing on the manual itself that it comes with a tool to assemble it. So I'm going to use that tool. Uh, of course, your instruction manual, which I'll be following. And we'll go to the next level here. Okay, and more pipes. So let's get from there. All right, this is one of the tubes that goes against the door frame. Nice padding on that. So we'll put that aside. More tubes. So basically, just going through all the parts here, what you should get. And uh, it feels nice. It feels like it's built strong, which is good. I mean, if you're going to be doing pull-ups on this thing, you don't want it breaking. Its capacity, I believe, is 300 pounds. So just for you to know. And nice. This, is, uh, this goes against the door frame. And as you can see, they, they did a nice job of padding it so it doesn't hurt your wall or your door frame. So that's a great thing to see too. So there's all the parts. Uh, next, I'm going to go through the manual and make sure that I have all the components required to put this together before I start. All right, here we have all the nuts, bolts, washers, and assembly tools and, uh, that came with the actual kit. Uh, we have a hex wrench with a Phillips screwdriver built into it, and that's used to assemble it. A safety clip. We have uh, M, uh, sorry, we have eight M6 uh, 58 millimeter uh, bolts, uh, two M6 45 millimeter bolts, and six uh, M6 15 millimeter bolts. We also have 16 washers, uh, 16 uh, spring clips, and 10 acorn nuts. Next, I'll show you the hardware that th these things go into. Here's all the uh, tubing and bars that you should have gotten with your uh, Gym Pro, um, your Multi Gym Pro from Perfect. Uh, we'll start with the uh, connect. This is a connecting bar. You should have one of those. You should have two handlebars, a left and a right. You should also have two uh, curved frame uh, tube assemblies, a left and a right as well. Um, two left, uh, sorry, two U-shaped tubes uh, for left and right. And you should also have uh, uh, left bar assembly and a right bar assembly. So if you have all those parts, you're ready to assemble it. So let's put it together. The first step, we're going to assemble the right uh, bar assembly with the left bar assembly. You're going to need two um, uh, 15 millimeter uh, Phillips screws, two regular washers, two spring washers, and the assembly tool if you're using that. Uh, but after looking at it, uh, I'm sure it'll do the job and it's fine, but I got the proper tools to use on this. So I'm going to use a uh, number two Phillips screwdriver and a 10 millimeter uh, box and open end wrench for this. Um, you know, and I'm sure the tool will work just fine for this, but I mean, I have the proper tools, so I'm going to use the proper tools. Uh, if you don't have these two uh, tools, the 10 millimeter and the uh, number two Phillips, just use the tool that came along with it. So let's put this together. So basically only one way this is going to work and uh, make sure both pads are just facing the same way. So like, like you see there and uh, Washer goes in, uh, s sorry, uh, spring clip or spring, the spring washer, which is a split washer, goes first. And then we put the regular washer in, like so. I'm going to bring that up. And, and we put that into the one, you know, one of the holes in there, just like that. And then we do that again. Again, split washer first. 
and or what they call spring washer and then a regular washer and then we put that into the second hole so the thread nicely it's it's actually built quite nicely this whole unit there we go I'm gonna squeeze the two parts together as far as they'll go with the screws in there first and then just tighten it down so we'll do that with your number two Phillips or with the assembly tool if you want there you go so there's that uh, bar put together our next step number two step will be to put the uh, circular or the u-shaped bars on so i'll get those out here step two is to put the left and the right u-shaped tube onto the pull-up bar and uh, you're going to need uh, four carriage bolts that's these right here and they are the uh, 58 millimeter carriage bolts that you should have gotten eight of you need four uh, acorn nuts the m6 and uh, I should have gotten uh, 10 of those but we're using four here you need four regular washers and four spring uh, washers right there and of course your wrench or as they would say in the in England your spanner <laughs> all right so let's put this together um, now orientation of this bar is important and you'll see that the bar has the pads facing away from these uh, u-shaped parts and that uh, also uh, look at the uh, uh, where these go here because otherwise you, you can get this backwards so we're going to put it in this way with the uh, two little holes facing you and they're going to go on top like so okay so basically at this point you're just going to put in your four carriage bolts through the bar and like so and like that again um, and then we're going to put the, the washers and the nuts on the other side but I'm just showing you this here again the orientation of those pads is important there we go and there we go so the next thing we got to do is obviously we got to flip this over and, and put the uh, uh, washers the spring clips and the nuts on so we'll do that and we'll go with the washers first all the way across like so and I'm gonna put the two inside ones first here because they'll be the easier ones for me to do so washer uh, spring washer or spring clip or sorry spring washer so that we first go with the washer second is the spring washer then the acorn nut and I'm just hand uh, tightening it right now because I want to get all the bolts on first before I tighten anything down okay I'll oh, sorry all the nuts on first before I tighten everything anything down so then and uh, important on these nuts that you here I'll show you what I mean so you can see it they have a square back end on them make sure the square back end goes into the pipe you really don't have any choice but just make sure it's in there right otherwise it won't fit right so that's a nice feature on this, these bars because once that's in that hole it won't turn so let me just fit that through and we've got the washer on there then we put the spring washer and then we put the acorn nut so always uh, on this assembly or this part of this part of this assembly it's uh, washer spring washer acorn nut for all four of these bolts and now I have it uh, finger tight on all those nuts take your uh, wrench and uh, tighten this down I'm using the box end I like the box end better it's less likely to mar the, the bolts I like keeping stuff nice and uh, you know mar free basically I'm a little OCD with that stuff I guess and you don't have any, I guess if you notice I don't have to hold the back of the, the bolt because the back of the bolt's being held by the pipe itself the square in the pipe that is now remember this is going to be holding your body weight so tighten it down but don't go super crazy on it all right that's step two next we're going to move to step three 
step three is attaching the left and right curve frame uh, tubes here. And uh, you're going to need the uh, remaining four 15 millimeter uh, bolts or screws, sorry, with the Phillips heads. You're going to need four washers and four spring washers. So let's put that together now. So basically, orientation is like so. Um, make sure that you have everything laid out the way I have. The pads are facing forward and the tubes are on top. That's the way it's shown on the instructions. And uh, the, the spring washer goes in first on the nut and then the regular washer goes in. And again, just repeat, uh, bolt, spring washer, washer. And that's the left side there, just hand tight. Um, I'm going to do the uh, right side hand tight and then I'm going to tighten them all down with the screwdriver, the number two Phillips. Again, bolt, spring washer, washer. And just again, repeat. We have the bolt, spring washer, washer. Just hand tighten it in there. So now we're just, I'm just going to screw this down and tighten it up. There we go. And we're moving on to step four. Step four is putting the handle gar, uh, handlebar grips on. And uh, you'll notice that they have a curve to them. And the curve should be uh, going down. So in other words, uh, this is the top of the unit and the curve should be on its way, uh, curving towards the bottom like that. Okay, so we're going to put those in. What you're going to need is uh, four carriage bolts. Those are the uh, 58 millimeter uh, carriage bolts. You're going to need four acorn nuts, uh, two wa uh, sorry, four washers, and four spring washers. So first thing to do is put the uh, bars, the handlebars on them. Again, make sure they're facing downward, or curve. The curve is going towards the f uh, floor. So two bolts on that side. The same thing on this side. You see that there's squares there. Make sure you put the nuts through the square. Like that. And like so. Next thing on the back side, we're going to put in uh, a, a washer first. And after that, we're going to put in a spring washer. You notice I'm holding it all here with my hand. And then uh, the acorn nut. And I'm going to do that for every single one of these. And those are just finger tight right now. I'm going to use the wrench on them afterwards. Let's just flip it over. Once again, washer, washer, spring washer, spring washer, acorn nut. And like I said, I'm just hand tightening them right now. And now I'm going to use my wrench to tighten those down. Now we move on to step five. Okay, the last part of uh, the assembly, or part five, is putting the connecting bar across. And this is kind of important that you get this right. Uh, there's a foam pad on the front and a foam pad on the bottom. And the way this fits is uh, with the foam pa pad on the bottom actually going down downward. So make sure you get that correct. In other words, you get the foam pad here and the foam pad uh, facing downward. You could have it backwards and do it this way and that would put the plastic right against your uh, sill or, or your molding on your door and that wouldn't be good. The foam pads there to protect your wall and your uh, molding on your door. So make sure the foam pad is uh, on uh, facing downwards like that and uh, the other foam pad obviously has to go the right way. Now uh, towards would be towards me or towards the door. So let's put this on uh, these tubes next and oh yeah you're gonna need the two 45 millimeter carriage bolts two acorn nuts, two washers, and uh, two uh, spring washers. So let's put that together. And they suggest putting this, the bolts through in this direction. So, well, that's what we'll do. 
So bolts go in this way. So we'll put them here and here, like so. Makes sense, nothing sticking out there. And uh, there'll be three bolts on the, on the tube that you can put them on. I'll show you that here. And the reason for the three uh, mounting holes is for different uh, size doors. So uh, basically I'm just gonna put them in the middle. Actually, I'm gonna put them on the top for now. Uh, so we'll go and put those in now. So this just goes in through like this, like that. Then uh, the nuts and washers go in next. And again, washers first. And spring washers second. Acorn nuts last. So let's do that. Now they're, they're just finger tight at this point, but use your wrench or the tool they gave you to tighten those up. And remember, you're squeezing plastic here, so don't go too crazy on it. Not going to do. And that is the full assembly. That bar is completely assembled now. So you're ready to mount it onto the uh, wall next. Here's the finished uh, product installed on a doorway. And this doorway conforms to their specifications, which is, I believe, 27 to 35 inches wide. Uh, so the width being measured from here to here. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm in that uh, spec. I think I'm 30 inches wide on that doorway. Uh, another thing also that they don't specify is the thickness of your doorway. So currently my thickness of this doorway is... Uh, Let's see, totally about six inches. Um, I find that to be a little bit of a, an issue with this unit because, uh, because it's a narrower or thinner doorway or six inch doorway, uh, I find that if you can look at it, it's so, it, got a, it has somewhat of a downward angle, okay? And they said to, to you know, basically loosely fit all these nuts and bolts on this thing so you can adjust it. Well, I, I loosened them up and there wasn't that much of an adjustment to it. And I still have that angle no matter what I do with it. Now, um, I'm going to show you the backside in a minute. But uh, uh, right now, my only issue with this uh, chin-up bar or pull-up bar is that um, basically the foam doesn't appear to be thick enough in my case to actually protect the door uh, sill. Basically, I'll zoom into this and uh, I'll start doing a chin up and you can see what I mean. Okay, here we're looking at the pad as it makes contact with the door trim. And my problem here is that because this is a narrow uh, door, uh, basically, it's, it's uh, you know, it changes the angle of your pull up bar. And as I showed you, it was angled down a little bit, which brings this edge closer to the door jam and the uh, top part, part further away. And I have no way of adjusting that. I try to adjust it by loosening the bolts and so on. And there's no way to adjust that to make it, you know, change the angle to a point where it lies flat against it. So here I'll show you what happens when I put my weight on it. And basically you can see there that at the bottom right here, it's almost touching the door. Uh, it's actually that touching the door trim there. And what happened when I had the, uh, this adjusted to a higher level uh, or higher um, basic height is that right here you can see that I just took a nick out of the uh, paint so I'm gonna have to touch that up no big deal but uh, again that needs to be that's an issue with my my door jam my sorry my door doorway that is too narrow for this uh, uh, pull-up bar with the current amount of foam so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just add a bit of foam to that and uh, get some high density foam or something to protect uh, the door uh, trim from this edge. Other than that, it'll be perfectly fine after that. Now I'll show you how to adjust the height on this thing and uh, what I did to it. Here we have the back of the unit up against the door and you can see how it fits. And you adjust the height by moving this bar either to the, one of the three pre-drilled holes. There's one, uh, sorry, one, two, three. I added an extra couple with my drill uh, to you whether you do that or not. Uh, note that I don't have the safety pin in there yet, the safety clip, which is, should go on like that, basically on the back of the door in front of this uh, bar to keep it from falling off. And it's recommended you do that. I recommend you do that. But I don't have the, I haven't adjusted it to the final height yet. So 
Uh, let me show you how that will come off and how it goes on. Basically, you just lift it and then tilt it forward and off it comes. Okay, so let's do that in reverse. Lift it, tilt it forward, make sure it's centered up on your doorway and let it come back down to rest. Now understand if this clip is here, you're gonna, and you're adjusting the height, you need enough space in the height here to actually clear that clip, okay? So you, you know, basically don't put it too low, like if we put it right down to that height, right? And then you put your clip on there, there's no, you'll not be able to put it back on there, on there, because it's just not gonna go over the clip. You gotta clear the clip, and the clip will go about that high off the door. So you need a little bit of space there to allow it to clear the clip uh, to wh when you're taking it off. So adjust it to that height, and then go from there, right? So again, make sure you, put in, you leave enough room in that height adjustment to actually clear the clip. Now, I also tested every height adjustment I, I had on there, including the ones I put, put in, the two uh, screw, sorry, the two uh, drill holes I put in. And it doesn't matter what height I put, put it at, the angle stays the same, so that does not change the angle. And once again, I've tried loosening the bolts and playing around with that, and it doesn't change the angle of the actual unit. So I'm just going to put some more foam on it, and I'm very, very happy with the product as it is very, very sturdy, holds my weight without any issue whatsoever, and short of the small problem with the foam, it's easily remedied with more foam, um, I'm very happy. I would you know, recommend this if you're looking for a solution for uh, chin-ups and pull-ups. Here's my solution for that problem with the uh, uh, foam not being thick enough and the uh, metal actually pinching the door uh, sill or the uh, door trim. Uh, I used a piece of two inch uh, Velcro tape and I actually used the woolly side of the Velcro tape, not the side with the hooks. And uh, I find this stuff to be really, really uh, good tape. It's very, very adhesive. Whatever you put it on, it just really, really holds onto it very well. So I uh, just used a piece of two, two inch uh, Velcro tape. I folded it over the edge that uh, actually makes contact with the uh, uh, door. And uh, this seems to have fixed the problem. And I'll show you that uh, this solution working at this point. So, like I said, a, a relatively easy fix. And if you don't have Velcro tape, uh, a, you know, a thicker piece of foam would do just fine. Okay, here we are looking at the pad again with the Velcro uh, wool on it. And I'm going to put my full weight on it again. And you see that it, do, it do, though it does come close, it's not touching. So I'm very happy with that solution. It'll fix, it'll keep the door from getting uh, jammed up, which is my whole, uh, you know, purpose in putting that on there. And now, again, if I find it to be substandard, I will put uh, something else thicker than that on there. Now, also, please don't forget to put that safety clip in uh, when you're done installing this thing. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And, uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.